Hello beer fans, Hero Brand Company here with The Wife. Today we're going to be doing a Wife Tries segment where we get to try something very cool. So every single Christmas, Esther's Price in Warped Wing Brewery, Esther's Price, the, the famous chocolate company, mm -hmm. and Warped Wing Brewery in Dayton, Ohio, they do a mashup because did you know Esther Price is from Dayton? Yeah. I did not know that. Yep. So they do a matchup um, and they do a different flavor every single year between the two of them. So the last two years I've actually had it and this one just came out. It says Esther Price had a dream to open a store and share with the world her hand made by hand, made with love confections. So for 30 years, the bliss of taste testers, otherwise known as family and friends, she perfected a timeless selection of delectable sweets in 1952 the doors the doors of her first store in Dayton Ohio swung open and the world rushed in Esther's chocolates quickly became and remain Midwest's most famous beloved chocolates quickly became and remain uh what is her secret some things are better sipped than said Esther's little secret a deep delicious world of chocolate almond bark ale what's your dream Oh, that's how it ends? Yeah. What's your dream? Oh, almond bark is not my dream. Almond oh. typically has a cherry flavor profile, and I don't like really? that. Yeah. I like the, the cans are usually really cool for this, too. They see uh, a wolf, and he's barking. <laughs> oh, like bark? Yeah. Almond bark. This is 8% alcohol volume, which is perfect for a winter beer. Mm. She doesn't like the dark ones. So we'll just give her a little bit, and I will like it, so. All right, so first go ahead and just give it a little smell. I did. You can, it does have a cherry smell. Yep. You're and right. chocolate. Oh, I can definitely smell it. It's like powdered chocolate, like a... Uh, um, Actually, it smells like chocolate syrup. It doesn't smell like yeah. chocolate powder. Yeah. Cheers. That's weird. It does have a uh, cherry chocolate taste. That it does. I never known that almond had a cherry taste in, until you said that. It does. Wow, that's really good though. I mean, for a winter beer, that's what I look at. Hmm. It is sweeter than I had anticipated. It. I maybe. knew it was gonna be sweet. Okay. Um, yeah. it tastes like. It definitely tastes chocolatey ish. Yeah, you can taste the chocolate, but it's more like a, I don't know, like a chocolate covered cherry is what it reminds me of. Yeah, I would go, I would, you agree. know, like those chocolate covered cherries that kind of have like that liqueur kind of <clears throat> yeah. flavor to it. That's mm -hmm. really what it vanilla y ish. No, okay. Um, so the taste, the can, the smell. How would you grade this? Zero to ten, zero being nasty, ten being the best flavored. We're going to put this in the flavored brown ale category. Well, you can put it in whatever category you want. Mm -hmm. I'm, they're all the same category to me. It doesn't matter what category you say. I'm just going to say it's all the same. Go ahead. I would give this um, a five. Five, I'd give it a um, an eight. I feel like they did a really good job. They got the almond bark chocolate kind mm -hmm. of flavors with the almond down. I just, maybe even more than I don't like beer, I don't like almond flavored mm -hmm. things. Yeah, I like it. Oh, good. I mean, I'm not a huge cherry person, but uh, that uh, that's really cool. And, and the can has art on it. See the guy ripping the bark off yep. and pushing it into his little satchel? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, I definitely recommend you getting this if you like, for one, traditions. Because it is tradition yeah. that they do it every year. You can get a four-pack. Yeah. Um, so uh, go do that. Uh, my good friend Jeremy, uh, he got this for me, yeah, Mr. Thanks. Music. Thanks, Jeremy. The music man. And uh, so I really appreciate that, that he found it and one delivered it. Mm -hmm. um, so I did see there's another one that's a s'mores. Sister's little secret that was s'mores. At least that's what it said at Kroger today. At least you didn't see it. 
Yeah, I saw it at Kroger. I literally said, yes, it huh. said s'mores. Huh. Cool. So have you ever had Esther's Little Secret? Leave that in the comments. All right. And like, subscribe, share this video. That's how this channel grows. Anything else? Nope. I was going to give me a kiss. Oh, that was for the thumbnail. <laughs>